<laughs> Welcome back to another episode of It's a Dire Thing here with Rob. Um, first, let's uh, start off with my intro. So just give me 20 seconds and we'll get that done and over with. All right, so now that we're back, thank you very much for uh, tuning in here. Uh, tonight I said I wanted to do something a little bit different here versus then just kind of walking around the bike and so on and so forth. Normally you always catch me at work, but uh, this week has been absolutely crazy. Um, against getting back from uh, the, the vacations, the holidays, and into the new year. Uh, everybody's out doing a, a whole whack of bunch of purchases. Uh, and speaking of purchases, this is where I'm coming to you guys this evening um, just to talk about something that uh, um, has been kind of on my mind for a little while now, and, and that was uh, in regards to my bike's brake and clutch lever. Um, right now i've got the stock brake and clutch lever and god do i hate it um <laughs> so what uh i i've had been using since uh 2016 uh, is the jill's tooling by um they're not actually they're jill's tooling not by yamaha but they're jill's tooling which are also offered through yamaha motor canada here and i know that they're also offered uh, down in the u.s Yamaha does offer a number of different levers um, for the MT series bikes and the R6s, Tracers, uh, FJs, XSRs, so on and so forth. So do check them out if you are looking for a Jill's tooling lever. Um, they are absolutely fantastic. They are beautiful. They're comfortable. They're so functional. The, the adjustments are awesome. The only downside uh, on these, uh, so to speak, is the price. The price is just... <sighs> Uh, here in Canada, we're looking at almost $250 a piece. Um, that's $500 for a set of levers. We are just so out uh, in the ballpark with that thing. Being said that, this is where um, you get these kinds of th companies that are coming in and they're just killing us uh, when it comes to uh, product, price, style, fit, finish. Um, there, there are plenty um, of levers that you can kind of uh, search and, and go out and check. But I mean, these things are also CNC. These things are, are aluminum. Um, they are super solid. They're great. They have uh, a bunch of adjustability. Um, there are a couple out there that you really need to pay kind of attention to. Uh, now, again, like I was talking about the Jill levers uh, just earlier at uh, $500 here Canadian. These two little guys here, they set me back after shipping and all in my hands, taxes and everything, $42. $42 for two compared to Jill's at 500. I'm sorry, it's a no brainer guys. Um, I will be running these ones as of this year, even if I did used to own the Jill's tooling, which unfortunately I lost due to the accident last year. I just quite frankly, I, I not that I can't, but I, I just do not want to afford $500 for a set of levers uh, where I can take that money and put it elsewhere on the bike. So I know that some of you are still running the stock levers and I'm kind of unsure as to what you want to do. By all means, uh, check it out. I tell you right now, um, for the most part, um, you won't be uh, you won't be disappointed if you place an order online. Other than it may take a, you know some time and stuff like that. Like I said, tons of adjustability. The feel, the fit, the finish are, are absolutely uh, really on par when it comes to a lot of the higher end, uh, more expensive levers. There are a couple of things that you do want to watch out for, which is like here, as you can see, there's got these two black retaining uh, rings, I guess you want to call it, or they're actually part of the actual lever assembly itself. And that's what holds in these uh, adjustability uh, pivot systems. So that is all interconnected together. And that's what uh, allows you to, to do the adjustments. I don't know if you can kind of see here, um, there is some adjustability onto that. Um, you do want to make sure that you got the two proper little brackets there that are that are machined into the actual lever that holds the adjustable uh, system in place properly and securely. Um, there are some cheaper knockoffs again, so let's say knockoffs off of knockoffs 
um, which are probably selling anywhere between uh, you know thirteen dollars to twenty six dollars. Um, if you're paying that kind of price, uh, I would have to say that it's uh, it's a little bit too sketchy. So that's something that you probably wouldn't uh, want to kind of uh, look at for that. For the most part, I think when you're playing around forty dollars or so for a set of levers, and if you read the reviews, I mean read the reviews. Uh, for the most part you guys are going to get something pretty good um, i did have these ones uh, i did install them on my mt09 as of this year um, the only thing is i did remove them because i wasn't very fond of the blue i thought the blue would be nicer when it looks but it kind of stands out a little bit too much so if you are in doubt by all means go with the black levers black levers by far are going to going to work and they're just not going to be a, an eyesore so again um, I just wanted to let you know um, my feedback on these uh, knockoff levers that you can find off of eBay, Amazon, and AliExpress. Um, they are absolutely fantastic. Don't be afraid to go with that. Doesn't necessarily mean you have to pay out, you know, five hundred dollars or a hundred dollars or whatever for any kind of levers. Um, even the the lower priced ones like this, as long as you read the reviews and stuff like that, um, by all means, you're pretty good. Um, they're super secure, super safe, really well solid. So. Let's set that aside. Um, I just wanted to say thank you very much for, for again, not just tuning in, but for uh, subscribing to my channel, uh, having your friends subscribe, um, mentioning it, following us, um, your comments that you guys send to me as well. Um, I do my best, absolutely best to respond to all of them. Um, if you have any inquiries, questions, uh, comments, feel free to jot them down, fire them off to me. I absolutely love them, whether, if, you know, if it's just uh, suggestions or whatnot, they're great. I will take everything, um, it, it's good. I will continue as of next week, um, which will be the, probably the 14th or so. Um, I will continue doing small install edits uh, of products onto my bike, just to kind of help uh, pass winter along uh, due to the fact that we are not riding. Um, in a month's time, almost exact month's time, uh, we got the Toronto International Motorcycle Show here happening in Ontario. Um, again, Toronto. Um, I will be working there at the Yamaha booth, so that would be the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, I hope to just spend uh, the, all the days there, so that would be pretty cool. Um, if you guys are local and you're in the region or whatever like that, man, pop by, say hi, that would be absolutely cool. I like that, love the support, grab a picture, put it, we can post it on the Instagram. So um, other than that, again, thank you very much for, for uh, all your support, uh, your contributions and stuff like that. Stay tuned. We've got a lot more to come. And uh, again, peace out. Ride safe if you guys are riding this weekend. And uh, we will uh, we'll touch bases soon. All right? Cool. <laughs>